good day to our dear listeners and viewers. In this video, we are going to discuss a controversy in the Philippine history. It's often claimed that the history of the Philippines is the history of many individuals fighting against the few. The society focuses on authority and wealth in the hands of a small elite group, leaving millions to struggle for survival and live under oppression. These unique moments are when road movements start to shape. Certain types of people such as visionaries, leaders, and revolutionaries are created during revolutions, wars, and other unique times. Great men and women have risen up against the tide and fought for what they believed in throughout history. Some of them engaged in combat for personal gain. Some people fought for ideals they held valuable. Some caused more dissent, but they did share some characteristics. Now, the question is, who is the last Filipino general to surrender to the Americans? Is it Miguel Malvar, Simeon Ola, or Macario Sakai? To answer this question, let us proceed to the primary and secondary sources. First, we have Regina Malabanan. She stated, Probably, I am one, if not the only one of the surviving persons outside the Malvar clan who was fortunate enough to witness the surrender of that brave, courageous, and hardy general, General Miguel Malvar, to the American Army in 1902. Even so, that was not the actual surrender of General Malvar in Barrio Balugbog, Rosario, Batangas, on April 16, 1902. Gina Malabanan is a daughter of Marta de Mayuga, also known as Capitan ng Marta, who had a constant contact with Miguel Malvar and performed espionage missions in Lipa. Next, we have Frank Leslie's illustrated newspaper. It is stated, The day finally came when my wife, her seven children, and myself were sick, and my wife Though with 40 degrees of fever and 3 days without being able to eat, was suckling my two smallest children because her two wet nurses had died. And besides, our neighborhood literally sown with American soldiers and with volunteers of the Pueblos, said Miguel Malvar. And in this picture, General Simeon Ola, um, leader of the band Insurrectors, uh, surrendered few of his guns and surrendered on the condition that his men would be granted amnesty. Um, Simeon Ola surrendered on September 25, 1903. This is a photo of Macario Sakai taken in 1907. His last words, Death comes to all of us sooner or later, so I will face the Lord Almighty calmly. But I want to tell you that we are not bandits and robbers, as the Americans have accused us, but members of the revolutionary force that defended our mother country, the Philippines. Farewell. Long live the Republic and may our independence be born in the future. Long live the Philippines. And here's the proclamation, number 49, declaring Thursday, September 2, 1965, as a special public holiday in Ginabatan Albay for the last general to surrender. Whereas the people of Ginabatan Albay um, should be afforded an opportunity to render homage to the, to the honored general. All fought valiantly for the Philippines. And Magdirigma Research Organization uh, on September 25, 1903, the Negotiating panel composed, composed of Ramon Santos Eligo Arboledo, uh, Epanio Orozco, Frank L. Pyle, John Pagelo, J.B. Allison, and Joseph Rogers went to his camp in Malagnaton. Apako Ginobatan eventually, all a surrender to the Governor Beth and Colonel Van Holtz. And that's it. 
relying on the primary and secondary sources. The question, who is the last Filipino general to surrender to the Americans, can be answered. Miguel Malvar surrendered in 1902. Macario Sakai surrendered in 1906. However, he was accused of bandolerismo under the Brigandage Act of November 12, 1902 which interpreted all acts of armed resistance to American rule as banditry. Therefore, Simeon Ola was the last Filipino general to surrender to Americans in 1903. Still, these three generals fought for our country and have big contribution on what we have now, particularly in independence. As Napoleon Bonaparte said, Courage is not having the strength to go on. It is going on when you do not have strength. Thank you so much for watching. I hope that you learned something today and have a good day.